X, which is very interesting because he aligns himself with the exact type of leaders that Malcolm X warned people about. There are many whites who are trying to solve the problem, but you never see them going under the label of liberals. That, that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire Western Hemisphere. He's the most deceitful. He's like a fox. And a fox is almost is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling. You take him for a friend. There are many whites who act friendly toward Negroes. A fox acts, acts friendly toward the lamb. And usually the fox is the one who ends up with the lamb chop on his plate. The wolf doesn't act friendly. And therefore, the wolf has more difficulty in getting the lamb chop in his plate. I'd like to point out, though, that... I, I, I say that because it is usually the... If you study the structure of the Negro community, economically, politically, civically, psychologically, and otherwise, it's controlled by the white liberal, mm -hmm. who usually poses as the friend of the Negro. Uh, on the other hand, I think one could point to a large number of whites uh, who have struggled for civil rights, Give me for an equality, and have got little or nothing out of it, uh, other than uh, quite a few bruises. Give me an example. Well, the, the large number of, of white uh, students who have gone into the South, for example, working for SNCC and other organizations. Not working for SNCC or other organizations, but working for uh, the white uh, political machines who benefit by the voting uh, efforts of Negroes. Okay. Today, you could point to a large number of, of Negro leaders who have consistently betrayed Negroes in a whole host of areas. They aren't really Negro leaders. These are puppets that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. These are parrots that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. You can't name me a Negro leader who has been a Negro leader who has been betray, who has betrayed Negroes, who is not who has not been endorsed, sanctioned, uh, subsidized and supported by the white liberals. If that doesn't describe the movements, the organizations, and the people that he surrounds himself by, I don't know what does.